Hey guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to a new vlog. So this is the day I was really waiting for. So finally my parts has just arrived for Nissan Micra. I would just do a quick service on the car. But in this video I would only focus on doing the oil change and the air filter change. The first thing we need to do is jack up the car. So you can do that by using a jack and the jack stand. I just prefer using a ramp, so much easier. Now before I do any oil change, I always like to warm up the engine for 2-5 to five minutes. So in that way, the oil is a bit hot, so it's just easy to drain. Make sure there's a bucket underneath to catch all the oil. Now I'm going to remove this bolt with a 15mm socket and get the oil drained before removing the filter. Now the oil is getting drained, I will just wait for it to drain. Once it's done, I will just get the oil filter removed. So before I put the bolt back, I just want to quickly mention this. Normally you have to replace this washer. Now I haven't got a replacement washer, but I would just put it back as it is. Just don't over tight it, so it's easier for next time to take it off. So here's the filter, so I will just try to use my hand to get this out. So bit tight ah boy boy so tight right I to take this filter off right so I might have to drill it and uh, put a screwdriver in and just remove the filter right here's the oil filter you can see now this is off it was a bit of struggle to be honest uh, let me get this out no it was very hard for me to get this out well normally you can use your hand to get this out but i couldn't so if you guys do have any issue taking the filter off that's can be one of the way how you can do it which is of drill a hole and uh, have a fat screwdriver and just push it the way how you want to open the filter and in that way the filter should come off anyway the filter is out so let me just clean where the oil filter places oh boy before i go ahead and change the filter i just want to quickly show you so here's the oil filter that i've got which is a bosch p2060 so i got this from euro car parts with the air filter and 10wd40 oil let's just open this let's get this oil filter replaced now this is something i always do which is i put a bit of oil in here and a tiny bit of oil in there before putting this in so in that way it's not completely dry when i start the car oil filter is ready don't over tight it up do it in a way so it's easier to take it off for next time the filter is in now let's go and let's top up the oil the oil that i'm using is shell 10w40 i'm gonna be using around 3 liters or 3.5 i'm not sure exactly how many liter it is in this car so to be in the safe side i will top it up up to 3 liter i would reverse the car get it out of the ramp keep the car at a ground level and then check the oil to see if it needs any more filling if it does then i would just top it up according to it that's done now I'll quickly start the car just let it idle for one or two minutes so the oil can just go around with an intel core i5 processor Air filter is just right here, few clips and it should be out. So let's go and let's get this changed. This filter housing, just give it a quick clean. This is the old filter, here's the new filter. Now before you replace any filter, just always make sure they're the same size, so in that way you know what you're replacing yes it's the same size 
and yeah let's go and let's get this fitted So that's it guys that's how easy it is to do a oil filter and air filter change in this car i hope that you guys have enjoyed this video if you have just do make sure to press a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you have subscribed and i will see you for next time goodbye